Neighborhood wars, ladies and gentlemen, crazy neighbors going at each other, 1v1, 2v2, setting things on fire, setting cars on fire, crashing cars into front doors, into garage doors, running over neighbors' dogs, running over neighbors' kids, anything that you can think of, we are going to experience. Mike, how do you feel right now, dude? I feel like I'm about to piss off my neighbors by being loud. Uh, all right, let's see it. Oh, you want me to be... You want me to do something loud? Well, you can't. You know what I mean? <coughs> you know what? I got to give it to you. That was pretty fucking loud. Yeah, good oh. job. Okay. All right, guys. We are giving away $100 to a random person in the comments who comments the word? Bus. Bro. Bus. Okay. Meet, meet. Well, there you go, guys. Comment bus in the chat. I mean, people might think you're fucking weird for that, but it's okay, okay? We are giving away $100 to a random person in the comments. So make bus. sure you guys say that. Make bus. sure you, if, if you're not subscribed, do a subscribe thing. It's pretty, pretty cool, too. Like the video, guys. It helps bus. us out a ton. Mike, oh my God. Bus. All right, let's get back to the video. Mike, let's get a TV stand check here. See what we got going on today. Oh, interesting. See, guys, this is why you have to subscribe to the YouTube channel because the YouTube channel, the bigger it gets, uh, the more of an opportunity Mike has to buy a TV stand. Obviously, sub, like, comment something silly. I want to hear some silly things. I like it when there's silly things in the, ch in the comments to chat. But guess what? My name's Mike. Okay, anyways, guys, welcome to, uh, to Neighborhood Wars, okay? It is a show that we love to watch. Me and Mike are here together again. Okay, let's get into it, man. Following program shows the intercations of neighbors around the country. Not all outcomes are known or final. All okay. plagiarism are pre-sub. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? All, <laughs> all PAG T are pre-sub TD. Ex innocent unless proven <laughs> guilty in a court of law. Oh, in a court of law. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> dude, I thought it was in like Russia or some shit, dude. If there's one thing that neighbors in apartment buildings fight about, it's noise. Wait, dude, you're gonna get a complaint really like this. Oh, really? Dude, no. As Calista Rivera and her husband Ben find out one Sunday night at 9 p.m when the neighbor who lives below them with his mom comes up to complain about the volume of their TV. I gotta be up at 1.30 in the morning. Can you lower your Lower your I'll you up. I don't give a I'll come in the house. What? If I come back here, I'm gonna you up for real. Record that. Dude, that's literally a threat. You can't do that. I don't care how loud your neighbors are. Wait, okay, here's the thing though. We don't know if he has complained before or if they're like being assholes yeah right? or if they're like deliberately doing it all we see is this guy's side maybe they got like they've been having streams with a loud loud sound alerts a lot you know right like my community <laughs> the, the, yo these are my this is my neighbor in florida i just want to make did you ever have a, a dispute like that dude i got the cops called on me because of the sound did they ever like yell at you dude yeah they, they came up to my door and the and the lady was a very nice woman okay yikes back here, I'm a him up for real. i have to be up at 1 30 in the morning all right need to back up. All right, wait so who wakes up at 1 30 yeah what wait what are you talking about Maybe he works the night shift. I don't know. Okay, buddy. Dude, if you get that close to me. Finally, bro. the downstairs neighbor's mom, who has been silent oh. until now, speaks up. Dude, the chin hair. What is he doing? Come do something. Come do something. Bro, he got on his knees. What the fuck is this guy's problem? This guy's a fucking psychopath. All right, so then lower your <laughs> All right, lower your <laughs> All right, or I'll drag you down these stairs <laughs> like a woman. Cause you got long hair like a bitch. Whoa! <laughs> Dude! After the neighbor leaves, Callista and Ben call the police. You guys oh, want yep, to there you go. keep on getting this conflict and go to court, try to get a restraining order, that's up to you guys. But the couple decides not to press charges as the police see it as a regular neighbor fallout. Bro, that is not a regular neighbor fallout. Have you ever had a neighbor like that, Mike? No. Have you ever had a no. neighbor that you like genuinely hated? I feel like I've gotten pretty lucky. I've gotten pretty lucky. I've had like the loud neighbor upstairs. Did you ever tell them like, 
to be quieter? Did you ever complain or no? No, I just banged on the ceiling a couple times. <laughs> Did you actually do that? Yeah, one time when it was like 3 a.m. and they were just like blasting house music and shit. Oh my god. They try to avoid the downstairs neighbor, and if they come across him, they record him for their own protection. What the fuck? Don't get close to me. All right, stop. Don't get close to me, bro. Don't get close to me. Wait, so what this is... neighbor war is far from over. Oh shit! Yeah. Rancho Palos Verde is an exclusive community on the California coast. Dude, look how beautiful this place is, actually. Do you think in like a hundred years? That's going to be gone because it's just going to wear away. Is it true that the ocean, like, rises and in, in everything on the, the coast is going to, like, get drowned by a tsunami? By what? A sun, tsunami. A, the big wave, the water. Tsunami? Oh, a tsunami. <laughs> you idiot. Bro, nobody knows how to say that word. There's a fucking T at the beginning of it. You said son of me. Bro, you weren't I'm even not, using the dude, T. Dude, I'm not the only one that thinks that, okay? That's you how weren't you, using the T. That's how, dude, dude, I'm from Michigan. You don't see those. Oh. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. You, you know this is a nice place when the house has got the orange roof, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the wavy orange roof. That's uh, some nice shit. Look at the pools in the back. They got that I know, blue, dude. pretty blue water teal. You know what I'm oh. saying? Yeah. It's also an excellent fishing spot. Oh, Ew. hell no! Lobster season. Food blogger James Mizuki has just caught his lunch. These what? are two oh, beautiful. Oh, what are those? Lobbers. Lobbers. What? Lobbers. Lobbers? They're called lobsters, lobsters, you fucking idiot. Dude, it's got a T in it. Okay, dude. Lobsters. <laughs> we gotta eat good. Jacob Damn, lobster tails, you making that shit? Oh, so good. Fire. Dude, dude. dude. I know that shit's fire, Our bro. Our lobster bisque. Wait, what would you say? Our lobster bisque. Yo, Chad, we had lobster bisque the other day. <laughs> Probably the most delicious lobster bisque I've ever had in my life. Oh, dude, like the, the grilled bread with the little olive oil. You know what's insane, Chad? Okay, Chad, what's the best soup of all time? You know what's funny about that? That lobster bisque what? was my favorite of all time, like I've ever had, right? Yeah. And it was also the first i've ever had so oh nice <laughs> but now that opened up a door of exploring lobster but yeah, you're gonna get it every time dude, now. yeah broccoli cheddar's fire too yeah i like dipping my oreos in that broccoli cheddar you ever try that ew dude that's got to be the worst combination what do you mean chocolate cream broccoli cheddar that shit's fire bro and then the little little it breaks a little bit because it's so hot like the little chunks of oreo and then it maybe it makes it a little bit dark when you mix it in you make like a crazy mating call right now if you were in the amazon right now like trying to mate with a crazy <clears throat> person from a tribe what would your sound be <laughs> yo he didn't even question it he just did it oh my god all right wait there's no way. If I click on the call right now and he's still doing it, I'm going to have to retire Mike for like a month. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. We're making some lobster rolls. Want to try it? No. Oh. And she soon becomes Dude. crabby. Wait, what? I want to see you leave. I want you to okay. go to get the heck out of here. Okay, what was your name? Wait, My name's what? James. My name is... Dude, that looks, it looks so good. I'm not out of here in, in a minute. I am calling the sheriff. Okay. It what? turns out that what the men think is a public parking lot is actually owned by an upscale homeowners association. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, you know what? I didn't even realize they were cooking in a parking lot, though. Yeah, like with the coast right there and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's kind of nice, but it also is a weird place, but she's being the most Karen person dude, right now. This is a Karen like, starter pack right here. Rich as fuck, Patagonia, and, like visor goes to wimbledon every year loves tennis <laughs> loves tennis matches bro <laughs> Pack it up. and this oh. board member is angry enough to make good on her threat to call the cops dude we have some guys who are cooking we're leaving uh 
Dude, that, that water Malone looks so good. What is her problem? Oh my god. Bro, she's looking for a lawsuit, literally. She's not even getting, giving them a chance to leave. She's searching for it. He offered her a lobster roll. It looks like fire. She wants to be in court. Over a lobster roll? She suddenly does something shocking. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> what the oh fuck? Ooh, look at look what she just did. Oh my. No. The neighbor's tantrum has destroyed most of James and his neighbor's meal. No. Dude. Dude. Bro. And that's the remainder of our lobster No, dude. No. Dude, hey, I'm not going to say it. Mike, how do you feel about her? Bitch. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't gonna I'll, say, I'll it. say it. I didn't, didn't want to say, say it, bro. All right, all right, all right fucking senile bitch. Oh wow, wow, you're just going crazy over there, huh? I just feel bad. They're just like they're trying to have a good day. They just went out. They caught the lobster. They're cooking the lobster roll. Yeah, they honestly, offer her a bro. lobster roll. And she says, eh, "You better get off my lawn property." If you destroy someone's whole meal, you deserve that title. And as these yeah, hungry neighbors head content. downtown to grab some tacos, it becomes clear <laughs> they've made a narrow escape. Dude, that sucks. There goes the oh. sheriff. Has she called? No way! Hey, yes, dude. She actually called the sheriff. Little Egg, New Jersey is a small oh, little egg. township on the Atlantic Ocean. What? Where Eliza dude, that's where Brad Liam Rhodes lives. Relocate oh. from the bro, when you say New Jersey, this is what I think of, bro. That's insane. Is that like the boonies of Jersey or no? Like, where's Little Egg compared to like the city? It's gotta be. I mean, holy. They gotta be boonies, bro. Nobody like this <laughs> lives in a city. They got they got their teeth. I mean, you're saying that, but two out of four people are smiling. <laughs> like, there's no shot. Grandma Appleseed has fucking teeth in there. Our neighbors oh, are oh, an no, older dude. Couple I can only imagine. Who have lived here for over 40 years? According oh. to Eliza, the first warning sign is when the neighbors make an unusual complaint. They didn't like the smell of our dryer sheets. Because what? Our what? Dude, dude people complain house. about so we anything. Went out and in the following months, the neighbors become more antisocial. Yo! She sounds like a witch. Taking what the pictures fuck? of Brad and her husband oh, no. launches a verbal attack. Oh god. Brad in the f you will? Is that all Stalker. 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 What's the matter? Stalker! That's Stalker. <laughs> Dude. Stalker. This is insane. <laughs> Genuinely. When I think of New Jersey people, I think psycho, but hey. I might be wrong. I mean, being from New York, it's like it's it's just easy to shit oh, dude, on. Dude, you got a, you got a rivalry with them. It's just like like they got the Jets and they got the Giants, you know. So okay, and like whatever, you know, those are your teams. They're not New York. They're New Jersey. Wait, New York Jets. <sighs> New York Giants. No, 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 no. They're New Jersey. They're they're in New Jersey. No, they're not. They're in New York. What's your problem? You're not claiming your own teams. No. That might, no. All right. What happens next is worse than Eliza and Brad could ever imagine. The neighbors go online what? and find out dark secrets about Eliza's past to use oh. against her. Wait, what? Wait. everything to mentally terrorize myself and my family. Dude, they were calling them stalkers, but I think they're the real stalkers. Wackos, what, like, uh. Eliza has now been drug and alcohol free for eight years. Nice. W. You're You're Dude, can you imagine going from a heroin addict to eight years sober? Like the new view on life that you'd have? I mean, that's like you going from gambling every day to like never gambling again. <laughs> You know? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, LaBandit. Don't project your addiction onto me. I don't have an addiction. We have a, a, a slots channel. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? It's not my addiction, bro. <laughs> Dude, these, I'm just, this I'm just is trying to be supportive. Addiction. Are you drunk? Are Shut you up. high? Shut up. Yeah. 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 Hey. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. You have a big face. <laughs> we got investigated for running a meth house. Elder abuse. No yeah. way. Getting someone hostage in the house. And literally. Dude, you know what these neighbors are doing? They're swatting them in their own way. Pretty much. 
They said they had a hostage and they said they had a meth house. That's that, basically gotta... fucking swatting. Dude, what the fuck? How are they not like arrested for like false shit? I don't know. Hopefully they get arrested. Yeah, maybe that'll be the ending. I don't know. But just as Eliza and Brad are in the process of taking the neighbors to court, suddenly everything changes. Wait. They get the welcome news that their neighbors you know, deserve deserve to be in you the the hit me. are relocating to a different state. They don't know why. Yes. But they're just happy to be you. gone. You're stupid. You belong in a nursing home. Oh, you, you got that. dementia. If I could say anything Whoa. to my neighbors. You got great hairs too. Buddy. Dude, you know what I strive to do, bro? Like, when I have my final home, or the home where yeah. I'm settling down, I want to know my neighbors so well. Having, like, like, best friend neighbors. Dude, I feel like knowing your neighbors, knowing people in your neighborhood is so ideal. Because, like, yep. one, you don't have to worry about anything. But, two, you got some homies in, in the neighborhood, bro. You could barbecue. You do some family shit, you know? And then there's this neighbor who looks as if she's on her way to a costume party. She even has the Elvis moves. Okay. But in fact, her <laughs> friends next door are away, and she's just feeding their dog. This Joker, <laughs> or her husband, come dressed up in different costumes every day, knowing that the neighbors will Whoa! <laughs> this new... What are you looking at, Mike? Dude. What are you looking uh, at right now? The sunset's crazy. Yeah, I'm sure, bro. Dude, why'd you pause it? The thing is, I know you well enough, bro. I know where your eyes go. Dude, I'm just paying my respects to the stars and stripes, you know? <laughs> in neighborhoods all over America, the school bus stop is placed in a spot that's safe for children school getting on stop. and off the bus. Yo, you know, there's, you know there's people out there that got school bus fetishes? What are you talking about? Dude, me and chat went down a rabbit hole one day. The fuck does that mean? Me and the chat went down a fucking rabbit hole and there's people out there that have school bus fetishes bro and it's not weird because like the people inside i'm talking about the school bus itself the oh truck. it's like the train people what do you mean train people dude that's what? one you gotta go down to people have apps that tell them when the train's gonna come by and i met a guy like this wait what do you and mean he was on it there's this town near the one that i grew up in and it had a train in the middle of the, the town right i was at I was young. I was with my family. We were at this bar sitting outside and like me and some of the other kids went playing and this guy rolls up in a bike. Not that, not that I'm saying it. That's creepy as fuck. Some guy rolls up in a <laughs> yeah, bike wait, and tells where, us like, where's this going? Dude, he, he rolls up in a bike and he's like, Hey, the next train's coming in 10 minutes. And we're like, Oh cool. Like we're little kids. Right. He's like, right, it's about to get here. And he guns it down the hill to the train. And he just went there and watched it right next to it. And he knew the model of the train. Like, everything about it. It was weird as fuck. Yo, you know what? Hold on. The Ultimate 2022 School Bus Spotting Compilation. Wait, look at their names. Bluebird286. Yeah, okay. So this guy records a school bus anytime it goes by, right? Okay. Look at the comments. So I'm into the first 10 minutes. Okay, are all their buses hydraulic? Until I missed it, I have yet to hear any air release. <laughs> No, Why was dude. that bluebird driving with her reds out? What does that mean? I, I, I genuinely don't know. Wait, go, <laughs> this sounds like more of a bluebird engine. <laughs> dude, people are just saying bus. What? Bus. <laughs> dude, people, like like, people aren't even saying anything. They're just saying bus. 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 Here we go. Ready? What do you prefer more? The PSI 8.8 .8 or the Ford 7.3 in the buses? I prefer the 7.3 Godzilla because of the aggressive engine sound and exhaust sound. <laughs> Dude, Wait, they what? like when a bus is aggressive. Dude, they're like, uh, PSI 8.8, Ford uh, 7.3. Nah, I like the Godzilla 7.3. <laughs> you should hear Yo, that puppy. I agree with you. That's the best engine I've ever heard from any bus. Dude, we got to see what the okay. Godzilla sounds like. Okay, dude, are you ready? Like, I don't know if you're ready. I don't think I am. Let me click on his account. Look at the fucking videos, bro. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Like, dude, those are W thumbnails, though. Dude, they are definitely clickable thumbnails. Like, we should hire this guy, to be honest, for the, the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. We'll look into it. <laughs> but look at this. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm like, you can't make it up. Okay, so I'm going to click on this one, right? Look at the video. <laughs> dude, do you think he's standing there like... Dude... <laughs> That's the video. Eight <laughs> seconds of a bus driving by. Do you think he like, he's like, fuck, oh shit. And then he ends, he's like, that was amazing. I mean, he probably already pre-came from this fucking bus going by. And then this one goes. Oh, true. Yeah, you know what I mean?
Oh, he loves it when it goes like. <laughs> Dude, that's that rut. You know when a bus stops and it's like. <laughs> Dude, they probably, that's when they bust. <laughs> dude, dude, Ray. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Yo, I love Ray. hearing that Cummins 6.7L. That bus has tire chains. Nice C2. That Cummins is certainly louder than the new 6.7Ls. What the fuck? I have what never recorded hell? school buses before, but oh maybe God. I should. Okay. No. Someone, yo. They, they unlocked something into him. Oh, someone's got to put this guy on a fucking list, bro. He ended up doing it. He got inspired. Wait. Oh, oh no! Oh, the, the beeping. money shot, dude! Not the, not the reversal! <laughs> oh my god! I almost spit my water out, dude. Imagine joining dude, the stream. And do you know how rare? These. Do you know how rare that is to catch a bus backing up? <laughs> dude. dude, a bus dude. has a route. They're always going forward. That is fucking incredible. Dude, you know what? Let's make a sixth oh. YouTube channel and do Wool's Bus. <laughs> That'll be the name of it. We should start posting buses on, Yo. on our Snapchat. What's up, you sexy motherfucker? I'm sorry to interrupt the video, but I have something pretty important I want to tell you guys about. I am vlogging every single day on my Snapchat. So guys, scan this QR code. We're going to throw it up on the screen. We're probably going to show you guys a couple, like, throw a couple clips on the screen just to show you guys what kind of shit we do on there. It's an apple that we found in the parking. Are you a lefty? Guys, I didn't I didn't actually do anything to John. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Every single day and it is fun and entertaining. So guys, add snap King Wolf snaps or scan this QR code that's on the screen. Samoza, throw it up there. I appreciate everything. Let's get back to the video. Hold on, are you ready for this? Someone's gotta put this guy on a list, bro. Dude. Hold on. What is this? Hello, everybody. Movie Watcher 123 <sighs> here. And I have another video request for Kara's color. She wanted me to draw Ravi as a prince <clears throat> and the blue horse which i did i outlined them both in black and i colored them in so i no. hope you like it that's it dude dude i'm not gonna lie the horse looks pretty good though yeah i think the i think the crown is like free drawn so <laughs> should that be my new logo <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm scared. I think the, I think we're getting cursed right now. Hello, everybody. Movie Watcher here, and here I have another request from Karis Color. She wanted me to draw. Who is Karis Color, and who's uh, why is she requesting? Wait, there it is. Nice in the castle, in the clouds. They're going back and forth. Holy fuck! They're having a whole ass conversation in the comments. I will get started right away. Yes, yes. When will it be finished? It'll be ready Tuesday. Yes. Hello? Thanks. Salutations. Okay, it's ready finally. <laughs> Wait. Are they? Wait, that, that... Oh my god. He actually did it. The castle oh. in, the, in the clouds. <laughs> oh. Hello, everybody. Movie Watcher here. And in this video, I have a request for Kara's color. She wanted me to draw a castle in the sky and here it is there it is i couldn't decide which colors to use so i just went with whatever is best yeah so here's a castle in the sky i hope you like good it. good judgment enjoy i could not have drawn a better castle if i tried okay ready ready mm -hmm. close your eyes okay picture this wool's draw Channel number seven. <laughs> oh, is, is it a buffet? You know, you, you kind of record videos like this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> At the buffet? Just like... I don't know. I feel like, bro, if I, if I give you the responsibility to post on our Snapchat, 
Like, this is the kind of shit you post, you know? This is Mike's YouTube channel. <laughs> Bro. Oh, he's still going. Two minutes in. Wait. Bro! Dude, salad bar. Gotta see the salad bar. How the fuck did we get here? We're at Golden Corral Restaurant Tour. Mike, let's get back on track here. Okay, buddy? Oh, my God. Where did we leave off? I don't even know what's going on. Dude, there's not even a bus in sight. Like, I, I, I don't even know where it came from. We're in New Jersey again. Of course we are. The peaceful neighborhood vibe changes when a new neighbor buys the big house opposite the... Look at that fucking house, dude. Is that a little bit creepy to you? That's like Conjuring 4. Like, I feel like they're going to record the new movie in that shit. Probably in her 40s, I would say. She lives alone. She didn't introduce herself to anybody. Is that a chicken running around? Next to the stop is a rock. Puppy! And yeah. claims that the new neighbor is angry that the kids sit on it while waiting for the bus. What? It started with her videotaping the girls at the bus stop. Bro, what? My daughter is 11 whoa, years whoa, whoa, old. Dude, even whoa, the puppy whoa. ran into her. Wait, why is her tattoo blurred out? I was wondering, yeah, why Why is her tattoo blurred out? Second of all, why is the neighbor recording the the neighbors? I don't, like, I don't know. And why is there a chicken? I think there was a chicken. It might have been a chicken. I can't really tell. You can't record my children at the bus stop every morning. Yeah, that's weird no, as fuck, can't. dude. That's this so is weird. This private property. This is public property, baby girl. Learn your law. Mind your business. You shut your mouth. She calls the cops oh. on us. Everyone. Okay. Every morning, every morning, go down there and sit on that rock. She will call the cops. The Dude. dispute rages for several months until one day, several Vicky months, at the bus stop and is stunned by what she finds on the rock. No, what is that? I was really angry and I was mad. I thought it was outrageous. Oh, was that dog said, shit? Dog no way, Mike. Why are people so shitty? Dude, I feel like people just look for problems when there isn't a problem. She had through dog poo around Look at all the poop. where our children That's sit. insane. That's As a mother, insane. what was going through my head, I can't really say on camera. You're picking there your little kid. In the Mercedes Benz. And things it's are about so to get worse. Wait. No, don't let her leave. Don't How's let her it leave. get Wait worse? Wait for oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God, Mike. Oh, no. Is this the husband? What is the problem? Wait. Now she's gone oh, no, it's a wife. <laughs> I thought so, too. <laughs> you thought it was a guy? Yeah. Well... Yeah. Hey man, you never know. When the case winds up in court, the judge orders both parties to go to mediation and the neighbors resolve to stay away from Wait, what's that mean? What's that mean? Mediation? Like they gotta go to, is that like, they gotta go to like therapy together? Dude, if that means therapy together, that's crazy. They gotta come to terms. Oh my God. They have to solve it together? That's bullshit, dude. Oh, so even civil court just was like, you guys are fucking annoying. Get the fuck out. Yo, Mike, I'm going to keep it a buck, man. My stubborn ass could never. It's like <laughs> you have to dispute in between themselves. Mediation is a legal term for settling beef. First of all, would never get to this point for me. But like second, I would just be like, I don't want to deal with this bullshit anymore. Right. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, honestly, at that point. But like, bro, let let my kids sit on the rock waiting for the bus. Like, how is that an right. issue? That's so weird that they had to come together. I know. To get to that conclusion, they had to come. Are you ready, Mike? Kazakhstan and Central Asia. Wait. What? <laughs> oh, we, we're taking a flight? How do you go from New Jersey to Kazakhstan, bro? I feel like I'm on a VPN trying to play Lay Bandit. <laughs> But today, what? This downtown condominium is the scene of a heart-stopping drama. Trying to rescue the three-year-old girl who is hanging from the window ledge. Over oh, the oh hell no. And the, the gap between the neighbor and the kid is three feet. And if he attempts Dude. to climb up, he... Okay, do you think the neighbor saves it? Yeah, they're not going to show a kid falling to his death. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. I, like, whatever. Desperate to save her, the neighbor tugs I think I can catch her, bro. As he implores her to let go. Okay. When suddenly, <gasps> oh! as she tumbles oh, what into a hero. his arms, the neighbor keeps his nerve and his balance. Let's go, dude. The local hero is named as 37-year-old Sabin. Yeah. Oh, shut up, this guy, bro. Give him a big fucking pe yo. I mean, you got to give this guy an award or something, a medal. Dude, key to the, key to the city. Get the guy Keep a blow job. Like, Mike, I yeah. will literally fly you out to Kazakhstan, bro. For what? To give him the blow job. Dude, stop. Um, Yo, this is why you guys got to subscribe to the channel, okay? So we can send Mike out to a foreign country for that specific reason. You know what I mean? We got to treat people right. Look at how excited Mike is for you guys to subscribe to the channel. Right?
Like, look at his face. He's so excited. He really wants you to sub.